On the 16th of March 1660, the Long Parliament in England, which had been in session since 1640, was dissolved. Welcome to History Pod. The Long Parliament had been convened amidst the tumultuous events of the English Civil War, during which Charles I clashed with Parliament over issues of governance and authority. Its unusually long existence was due to an Act of Parliament that stipulated it could only be dissolved with agreement of its members. Consequently, over the course of its 20-year existence from the 3rd of November 1640, the Long Parliament witnessed the execution of Charles I, the establishment of the Commonwealth under Oliver Cromwell, and the subsequent collapse of Cromwell's regime. By 1660, public sentiment had turned against the rule of the Commonwealth, and there was growing support for the restoration of the monarchy. Sensing the shifting political landscape, General George Monk, who commanded the army in Scotland, began negotiations with Charles Stuart, the exiled son of the former King Charles I, who had been living in France. As Monk marched his army southward towards London, he received assurances from Charles that he would uphold the rights and liberties of the English people. In a decisive move, Monk allowed the members barred in Pride's Purge of 1648 to retake their seats in Parliament and so pass the necessary legislation to dissolve the Long Parliament. The dissolution of the Long Parliament signalled the end of the Republican experiment initiated by the English Civil War and cleared the way for the election of the Convention Parliament, which met shortly afterwards. On May the 8th, 1660, Charles II was formally invited to return to England as king, marking the end of the Commonwealth period and the beginning of the Restoration Era. <laughs> 